Vincent Posada is suing his former roommate Carmela Ortiz in the amount of $596. He says after pulling a prank on the defendant, she viciously attacked him, resulting in a chipped tooth. All rise. Remain standing and come to order. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Kevin Ross presiding. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. All parties been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Deputy Thomas. Mr. Posada, we got an issue here about you getting your tooth knocked out. Yes, Your Honor, that's correct. Here's here's a picture yeah, of what, it, get right what you did, yes, and thanks. that's the bill. 596, 596, the damage here, and let's talk about what happened. Ooh, that's the tooth, it chipped. Yeah, it was. You didn't lose your tooth, but you chipped it. Chipped it, yeah. Ouch, so let's take a look at that on the plasma. Yeah, and Miss Ortiz? Yes. What happened here? Well, I've been living with Vince for a little while now. My sister... Platonic, or are you on a relationship? We are not in a relationship. My <laughs> sister... I, I want to make that clear. I want to make that clear. <laughs> I simply was looking for a roommate, and my sister knew him. Mm -hmm. uh, she met him at a open mic because he's a struggling comedian. All right, well, how did the tooth end up getting chipped? Basically, it's going to sound a little gross, but Vince is lactose intolerant, and I don't know why... Given his age, he's not in third grade anymore. But he, I like he, ice cream. He 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 finds. <laughs> Who doesn't like ice cream? I love ice cream. I love ice cream too. Right, and he knows what ice cream does to him because he's lactose intolerant, and he tends to. I know what like ice cream can I don't, do. To however, you. I don't like having ice cream thrown at my face, and that's actually what she used. That to chip is not my tooth. what happened yeah, she, at it all. It was a frozen hard brick of ice Vince, cream. Vince, so I out of nowhere just threw it's ice cream ice, at you. Yeah, you threw. I'm a pretty pint sure of ice that I was me. taking a nap. He had come home, farted at me after I, I assumed. I just need to make sure I'm hearing this correctly. Did you fart in her face? Well, technically, I guess in a way, yeah. He she did was fart down in my face. I, I walked it's not past something her you can like, be confused about. Her face was about. Be right by there when I was walking. There's at that nothing moment. confusing about it the was... smell. <laughs> no doubt about that one. Uh, it, it, it does seem funny on the surface, but I was... You're like, I wasn't laughing at the time. I was not, because I do put up from... For, I put up with it from time to time. Put up with what? His farting and his comedy act, and I, I support him. Well, what, what, what does one have to do with the other? Are you saying that he just has a problem oh, passing no, no, no. gas a lot? He does, but he does it deliberately to be funny. Oh, you think it's a joke. I don't think it's a joke, but I think that's why she immediately got up. You don't think it's a up. joke? She ran to the freezer, well, I'm grabbed a my ice cream. She's like, this is why you fart all the time. I blame this me. ice cream, and she chucked it at my face. You know when you're getting ready to pass some gas. You know that. So why, so if nothing else, even when you felt the sensation of what was getting ready to happen, <laughs> you would go, okay, let me step away. So for you to go right where she was, right and where she I happened was. to be sleeping, and you let it rip, that's foul. Pun intended. So what followed after that <laughs> happening is that I turned, I was asleep, I got farted on, I turned and kicked, <laughs> and he tripped and hit his tooth. I was not violently chucking an ice cream at well, you. Well, where does the ice cream she come into play? Because she he was did, eating it. But then she also Because it makes him fart. No, no, I, I, I get that. Ice yes. cream makes people fart, I get it. First she jumped up, she kicked me, ran towards the kitchen, grabbed the ice cream out of the freezer, and she's like, you need to stop I eating this. I did not jump up and me. pull a, a, a oh, ninja move on him. Me, it was right. a simple she reaction to and him farting at me, and he tripped. He's just trying to get more money because he knows he can't pay me back. You don't have to talk loud for me to hear you. I'm right here. Yes. What I'm trying to understand is one of you has what happened um, wrong. Because you're saying she went over to ice to the freezer, threw the ice cream, and you chipped your tooth. You're saying you kicked him because you reacted, and then as a result of the kick, did he fall? Yes. If both of you were in your right mind, how are the stories so different? Well, she was drunk, Your Honor, so she was Now I was right drunk. Now. She was I'm sorry, but if anyone was drunk, I didn't want to bring this up because I don't have hate towards you, Vince. Coming up. Okay, and so you're saying that oh while she gosh. was asleep, she, she was, was passed out drunk, I believe. So if she, so she was passed out drunk. I believe he said no, I was napping. Okay, you're before. interrupting me. I got this. You're saying you came home, had you been drinking? 
Yeah, I just come home from work. I just got off of a, okay. I was doing so a show. So you're admitting to have had consumed alcohol. If you are in a bar and you're working as a comedian and typically they are given drinks, the inference is you would have been the one drinking and she would not have been the one because if she sleep, unless she was just so wasted that she comes out of a sleep from a fart and then starts doing all of that, that doesn't make sense. Because your stories are totally different. You have someone here. Who is this person? This is my sister, Jessica. Come on up. Also Ortiz, Miss Ortiz? Yes, sir. All right, Jessica, why are you here? Um, well, I wasn't there for this particular incident, but I do know Vince. I met him at a comedy club. Um, She's the one who uh, pointed me to him when I was looking for a roommate. Okay. But you've seen him drunk. Yes, I've seen him Have you him ever drunk. seen her drunk? No. Has there been anything in your presence regarding this farting? Oh, boy, has there. <laughs> <laughs> that seems yeah, to be a regular part of his act. Um, he did make a lot of fart jokes during his act, and he does tend to fart a lot on, on purpose. And, you know, there's the occasional slip up. But he does think it's funny to fart on people and around people. And I have and made it clear I do not think it's I'm, funny. Your sister's a big girl. She can talk for herself. Go ahead. Uh, yes, she has made it clear. Uh, several of us, uh, uh, when we've hung out together, he's inappropriately just let it rip. <laughs> and just thinks it's the funniest thing in the world and likes to do it regularly and everybody's expressed that it's just disgusting. Nobody wants to be around it. He still does it. He just thinks it's funny. Okay. What was his sobriety like that night? He was not stumbling when he came in, but he was noticeably drunk. And he, he has a history of being fairly aggressive when he is drunk, and he definitely has a history of not being in control physically when he's drunk. I don't want to infer anything because I know you're a fact by fact uh, type of judge, but if I had kicked him, first of all, I was half asleep. It was not a hard kick, it's simply a reaction. Him falling may have been brought on by the fact that he had been drinking and did not have complete physical